Hello everybody, and in this video today, I'll be showing you guys an insanely broken bleed build that you guys can make in Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. And before this video starts, I just want to thank you guys for the support that you have shown for my Elden Ring videos. It really means a lot to me, and with that being said, let's get into the video. So this build video will be pretty similar to the last one. Uh, I will be first showing you guys what we're using, where to get them. Then I will show you guys how to use this build. So let's get into the build. The weapon that we're using is Bloodfiend's Blood Arm. And it doesn't really matter what Ash of War you're using. You just want the Blood Affinity for the weapon. And it will give you a Blood Loss build up of 217. This is crazy because for the Dual Curve Sword Jump Bleed build, you only get 112 per curve sword. So this weapon effectively almost double the blood loss buildup that each curve sword get. So it's crazy. And the armor that we're using is the armor of solitude. I don't have the glove piece on because if I have that on, I will be heavy rolling and we don't want to be heavy rolling. So if you're heavy rolling, then uh, replace the glove piece. And the only armor that give us buff is the white mask. When there's blood loss in our vicinity, it gives us a damage buff. And the classic talisman for bleed build, Lord of Blood Exaltation, similar to the uh, White Mask, it gives us increased attack power when there's blood loss in our vicinity. And because this weapon is mainly going for a charge attack build, we want the Axe Talisman to boost our charge attack. And we're already two-handing this weapon, so we might as well enhance our two-handed weapon attack with the two-handed sword talisman. And the last talisman, just go for any damage negation talisman or that is corresponding to the element that the boss is using. So like for Mesmer, use the fire one and for Radon, use the holy one, simple. And now for the wondrous physique mix. So, like I said, this is going for a charge attack build. So we want to enhance our charge attack. And then, uh, the Green Burst Crystal Tier is just here to boost our stamina recovery speed because we're using the charge attack mainly, so you want that stamina recovery speed. So you can do uh, charge attack constantly. And now to show you guys where to get the item. So first, the game is not going to hold your hand through everything and I'm not going to hold your hand through anything. So uh, I'm just going to give you guys the most brief version of where to get this. So first, you start at the three path cross. You came here, you can choose to uh, unlock this side of grace. But if you go over here, there's like a secret passageway. You just follow it to here. And then you just start to parkour up. And I think around here, there's a crowd of enemy. Kill them all, guaranteed drop. And another play style that this weapon could have is the Savage Lion Claw, which again, you start from here, and then you just follow this path, and you will find it around here. And I think where to get Craig Blade is pretty obvious, but I'll point it out to you guys anyway. Somewhere around here, go look for it. You can't miss it. It's uh, carried by a little silver bug thingy. And where to get the spike tier is just around this minor earth tree. Uh, there's no uh, boss to beat for that. You just pick it up. And Lord of Blood's Exaltation, uh, go underground into the sewer. There is a dungeon there, go fight it. And that's pretty much it. And the two-handed talisman, I got it somewhere in the DLC, but I forgot, so I'm really sorry. And the Dragon Crest talisman is in the church before the Melania boss fight, so you just go from the drainage tunnel to around here. I think that's the church. You jump in from the roof, and you are, uh, you, then you are supposed to be able to find it. And now for the showcase. So I prefer using Craig Blade for uh, this weapon because it deals more poise damage to the enemy. So here's what you're gonna do if you're in a boss fight. So first, obviously, drink that, and then we apply the buff. And all right, let's pretend that guy is the boss, and we just walked into the boss room. And we're just gonna stand there and do this.
And uh, we dealt five to six thousand damage in two charge attack, which you know is crazy. And let's say, you know, there's another boss here. But because you have, uh, when you're doing this attack, I think you have a little bit of hyper armor. So it's less easy to interrupt your attack. And that's why, you know, you want the poise. And yeah, that is pretty much the build. And here is the stat. You don't have to follow the stats to an exact. If your level is higher than mine, uh, you could go for more strength or more endurance. Or if you want to use Golden Bell and Flame Grant Me Strength, then you can go for more faith. I think you need 33 faith to be able to use all of these buffs. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope this video is helpful for you guys. And if you guys like the video, then maybe consider a like and subscribe. First time doing this, kind of awkward with it. But that's it for the video. And uh, the next video will probably be me discussing why I think people review Bond the Elden Ring DLC. And stay tuned for the next video. And for the meantime, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.